replacement level fertility the fertility rate at which a population replaces itself from one generation to another according to the united nations populations fund if a country's fertility rate is lower than 2.1 the current generation is not producing enough children to replace itself leading to a decline in the population the national family health survey nfhs has reported that the total fertility rate or tfr has reduced from 2.2 to 2 over the last 5 years a change in the tfr is determined by progress or deterioration in family planning fertility age of marriage and education levels a woman needs to have 2.1 children to keep the balance of births and deaths in a country some states in india still have a tfr above 2.1 Bihar with 3, Meghalaya with 2.9, Uttar Pradesh with 2.4, Jharkhand with 2.3 and Manipur with 2.2. West Bengal and Maharashtra have the lowest fertility rate in the country at 1.6. The burden of family planning in the country still remains with women though as female sterilization has increased along with the use of oral contraceptives. A communication strategy might be needed to reorient and divide the onus of family planning equally different states in india have also been trying to bring the tfr down through their population policies for example uttar pradesh which aims to bring the tfr to 2.1 by 2026 and 1.9 by 2030 it limits access to state benefits government jobs and rations to those who have more than two children a tfr of 2 indicates that the population is stabilizing because there are two children to replace two parents so the population growth rate in the long run will amount to zero there is often a gap of few decades between achieving replacement level fertility and population stabilization which is defined as a stage at which the size of the population remains unchanged this is despite the fact that couples not only desire but also have fewer children than earlier the overall population growth in numbers still appears high uh, because of the large young population in the country therefore will take it will take some time to stabilize uh, the population in india india was expected to become the most populous country by 2028 but a reduction in the tfr means that this will be delayed by a few decades a 2020 study by the university of washington uh, seattle indicates that india is expected to reach its peak population of 1.6 billion by 2048 india is also projected to have a continued steep decline in total fertility Uh, rates which will reach um, 1.3 along with the total population of 1.1 billion by 2100 since the population has stabilized the strain on environmental resources can also reduce considerably this also means that healthcare economic development and environmental protection will be less of a challenge in the long run if governments invest in public health and education right now a young population combined with a stabilized rate of growth might give the country a chance to accelerate development over the next 3 decades